Hey guys, Joey Led's dipping back here for another dip review. You might have seen my last uh, video, which wasn't a review. Uh, I think in the review before the last video, I said that I've been dying to try a certain dip. Not because of the strength, but because of the flavor. It's the only dip that has this flavor. Finally, I found a store around here that carries it. This would be Kayak Grape. I went to that uh, the tea store there, and I got two tins of Kayak Grape. This one's gone. Dipped all that. Uh, got this one that's uncracked, which I'm going to review. I got Kayak Peach, which I've taken a few lips of. And then I asked for Kayak Apple, because I wanted to just try the three Kayak Apples. I mean, the three Kayak Fruit Dips, because I had tried the apple before. I had a pinch of peach before, but I never had the grape. So I said, you know what, I'll get these three. So I asked for those. The guy put everything in the bag, came home. Then I uh, took the tins out of the bag and I was pissed. I didn't get kayak apple. I got skull apple blend pouches. He couldn't even have given me long cut. I, I don't like pouches anyways. First off, it's skull. I didn't want the skull apple. And second, it's pouches. What the hell? I wasn't happy about that. What I was happy about, though, is the price. I got these four tins for 15 bucks. I don't know about in the south and whatnot. I know compared to Canada, it's nothing. They get a tin for 16 bucks. But for Massachusetts, that's pretty good. That's really good, actually. At normal places, if I got four cans of skull, it would be about $25. So... Each kayak was 350, and then the skull was whatever, whatever else that is. That be 450, something like that. But anyways, like I said, I already ripped through this tin. I do about a tin a day, so. But I did this in less than 20 hours, 24 hours, because it's very low in nicotine. And, you know, you can pack pretty good lips. So let's crack this open. All cracked. That song was Knocking on Heaven's Door by Bob Dylan. This is Under the Bridge by Red Hot Chili Peppers. Alright, so. They packed the tin pretty damn full. As you can see. It's the nice dark brown here. That's what you want. Nice and fresh. Unfortunately, Kayak doesn't have an expiration date. No expiration date. Nothing. Oh boy, and look at this. The label came undone. That happened with my first tin here, two of the great. It didn't happen to the peach. Perfect. I'm gonna have to glue it. I have OCD. I need everything to be neat, so I'm gonna have to end up gluing this. Uh, pin ass. Let's peel it off for now. I know you don't have to pack it when it's new, but I still do, because I want it. Alright. Alrighty. Like I said, I know kayak's a pussy dip, but I do, um, I do, back when I first started, I only dipped fruit, but now I do about half fruit, half, half straight snuff, you know, I love Coke, so I do about half fruit, half Coke. So this kayak grape here, when you open it, it smells like Dimatap, you know, like children's grape cold medicine, that's what it smelled like. So when I open it and smell it, I'm like, I don't know if this is going to be good. This is now I pictured it smelling. So, you know, you pack it. The packability is actually pretty good. I know a lot of people say it falls apart in your mouth. I haven't really experienced that. It stays in place for the most part. You can grab a pretty decent pinch, as you just saw.
I don't really, it doesn't fall out of place for me. Uh. Um, so, first off, the tin. You know the label's gone now. I'm gonna glue that back on. But the tin here. You know, most tins, you have the black label, and we all thought that looked terrible. This has white label, a white label. Look at how shitty that looks compared to this. It looks way worse. And then on the side, let me, let me use this tin so you get the idea of how big the label actually is on the side. Look at the comparison. Looks like shit. And you know, now, I mean, before this label, you know, the 30% of bullshit, um, most dips just shrunk the picture and put that there. What else can they do? But no, this, for this, they put the 30% there. And kayak used to have mountains and it had a kayak on there. And you know, I know in Cajun Tiger's rape review, he said how all the dips except Skull and Cope have a woods animal or something. And, you know, that's, that's, uh, I know that this is kind of ridiculous for having a boat, but now it doesn't even have that. It's just text. It just says kayak. You know, skull and cope are terms. They're not things, so they don't need to have a picture on them. This is named after a boat, and it doesn't even have a boat on it. What's the point of even calling it kayak anymore? Seriously. I don't get it. I really don't get it. And as you can see, the label's extremely cheap. I used to like these cans because they were always cheaply made, but I liked how they were flashy and they stood out. Now they're just... shit. This song is The Chorus Girl by Stephen Page. Alright, enough talking about the label. I mean the packaging. Well, not yet. Doesn't have an expiration date, but I can tell it's fresh. It'd be nice if it did have an expiration date, though. Also, the other kayaks, the plastic is, you know, um, colored like the fruit. See, this is peach, it's orange, the apple's, you know, it's, it's green. But this is grape, and it's silver grayish. I don't get that, it should be purple. Alright, on to the flavor. This kayak is manufactured, well, it's partly cut off from the label, so I'll use this one. It's by Swisher, made in Wheeling, West Virginia. So, you know, it's made by the same people that make Swisher Sweet Cigars. And it definitely tastes like a cigar. I used to smoke these. Before I got into dip, I used to smoke these all the time. Backwoods Honeyberry Cigars, they also make great. This tastes almost exactly like a great Backwoods Cigar. That's a good thing. It's a great taste. It's the only grape dip out there. And uh, I think the flavor is great. You can't really taste the tobacco, but uh, it doesn't have too sweet of a taste. It's just a nice grape taste. That's it. A lot of people call it the candy tasting dip. But I don't think it's sweet enough to taste just like candy. Personal opinion. Earlier, uh, well, a couple days ago, and this is a story related to dip, but unrelated to this review. I had a lip of, I think it was Skull Extra Wintergreen, and I just finished that tin off today. And, uh, I had to sneeze, and I tried to hold it, and I ended up sneezing, and dip went all over my computer monitor. It was all in my mouth, in the back, up in the top teeth, it was disgusting. So just so you know, if you ever need to sneeze when you have a lip in, Either hold your lip closed, or try your best to take it out in time. It's nasty. But yeah, the flavor of it's good. Uh, like I said, packability is better than what everyone says. I don't know why. It must just, either it's really fresh or something, but it packs pretty good. I, I don't have a problem with the packing of it. Um, it lasts a decent amount of time. It lasts anywhere from 15 to 30 minutes. Depends how big a lip you take. Depends how fresh it is. This is pretty damn fresh, so... Yeah, 15 to 30 minutes. Usually I'm in the 20s somewhere. Um, and it juices up pretty good. I get about the same amount of spit as I do with Skull. 
not Skoll Extra. Skoll Extra is probably the juiciest dip I've ever had. But this uh, juices up about as much as regular Skoll, so. Not bad. Um, also, I wanted to say, they don't cut this as well as Skoll and Cope and whatnot. This is, um, it's not, it's not longer cut, it, but it has a lot of twigs and stems in it. Um, and it's the texture of it's much coarser. And the first few pinches I had of this can of this, I got an extreme burn from it. And I never burn from Skull, Skull Extra, Cope, nothing. I never burn. Uh, but I got an extreme burn from it. It went away now because I've adjusted. But just know that when you get this, it seems to be much coarser than regular dip does. Alrighty now, it's time for some shout outs, let me get those. Last I checked I have new, two new subscribers, yep, and my last subscriber, I hit the big 30. First new subscriber would be Skodiak Man, I like that username, and then the other one is, where's his name? I'm looking for his, ah yes. Country Boy Andy. Uh, Country Boy Andy's a really nice guy. Uh, you probably saw my last video. It's the vlog about Blog TV. By the way, I set up the schedule for that. On weekdays, Monday through fr uh, Thursday, it's going to be at 9 p.m. And, you know, I'll go live in the daytimes and, and whatnot. Um, and then on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday nights, it's 10 p.m. on. Uh, and it'll probably go on till whenever. But, so please stop by, it's fun, I've done a cup. Oh, fucking drop my tin. I've done two or three shows and it's a lot of fun. Just come in, talk about dip, pack a lip, you know, whatever. Talk about normal stuff. So here's my link to that blog TV, I'm gonna put it in the description too. It's a lot of fun though. Give it a shot, come on in. What it is is you basically go live on camera and they're watching you live and you just talk in the chat room with them and stuff. It's, it's, it's really cool. So, uh, you know, give that a shot. And uh, also, I do have a Facebook. Uh, here's the link. This will also go in the description. That's my link to Facebook. Outcast of Redemption and Cajun Tiger are two p people who I've added uh, on there. And everyone else, whoever you are, you can add me. But anyways, those are my two new subscribers. Regular shout-outs I have would be uh, Cajun Tiger 616 as always, one of my favorites. Do My Dash, another favorite of mine. Oversold One, who actually made a new video today of him singing. Um, funny guy. Sig Boy OK, another funny guy on here. Uh, one Bot Tour T Dipper requested me to do dips and the Cope Straight's gonna come next, I promise. I know I've been deferring on that. It's been sitting in my freezer, I've been taking a pinch here and there, you know. Uh, Ninja Dipper. And I th think that's about it. Oh yeah, this one. I hope I pronounced this name right. He's another one that came into my blog TV a few times. B. Van Sittert, 56. I hope I pronounced that right this time. The last time I didn't. And he said, you completely butchered my name. I'm like, I know, I'm sorry. Um... But yeah, that's been the kayak grape. Now for the rating. 10 out of 10. It's an excellent dip. I like it a lot, actually. I don't get a kick or a buzz out of it at all. It has, like, no nicotine. But it's still, it still tastes good. It packs good, all that. So yeah, 10 out of 10 for this. More reviews coming soon. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Take care.